Hello, welcome back, and I'm so pleased to be doing a video. Finally, 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 I'm actually doing a video. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me where I've been, and uh, what I've been doing, um, but the main thing is, life has been great, life has been crazy, life has been busy, but now I'm ready to record some more. Now, I'm sort of bending down a little bit because I'm trying to be near the microphone. Um, this is possibly uh, the most, one of the most lo-fi videos I've done. Um, in, well, actually, I'm using my phone to record this rather than my um, DSLR. Um, because I sort of thought, actually, let's have a little experiment. It's less faff to set up. And actually, I'm doing unintentionally what this video is supposed to be, which is a ramble-style video um, that was requested a while ago by um, by somebody who commented on one of my videos. So this is going to be a ramble video. Anyway, I'm using my phone to record the, the video, and I'm using the Blue Yeti. of my, well, I'm, I'm going to try not to edit it so much so you get more of natural me. First and foremost, I'm going to start this video by addressing something, something very important. Um, so, in the post, I got delivered my first ever throne gift. I think two or three items on there. Um, this is one of them. It's my favourite brown package. Uh, and there's another item on there that's just a little bit... Um, it's on the slightly pricier side of things. I literally don't know what to put on my throne. Um, so if you have any suggestions, uh, do let me know and I will put them on. But this I'm going to unwrap, unwrap, unbox, unpackage, because uh, this is the first item from my throne. Now, before I show you what it is, before I unwrap it, and um, you might potentially worry what it is that's in here, I will explain. This has been bought for me, very kindly, by one of my good friends, Ev. She is, as I say, a very good friend of mine, um, and Ev, you've supported me in lots of my videos and various things like that, especially, you know, for a new uh, YouTuber and somebody new to the world of, uh, well, even, you know, Twitter and Instagram and all these really cool things that hip and trendy people use. You've been really supportive and you're my first throne gift buyer, so thank you so much. So thanks to Ev, uh, whose uh, details for social media I have put in the description. I think which is still down there. YouTube keeps changing. So I'm now going to. time I can actually see exactly what I'm doing because I'm looking at a mirror the other side of the room that is also showing what I'm doing so actually I didn't even need to have my phone that way around but never mind I can see two images of myself and sorry I'm just getting used to it so 
before you worry about what this is, uh, I don't have ideas of using this irresponsibly. gift um, that Ev has got me is actually for an ASMR roleplay that I intend to do. It's going to be quite a big project, probably the biggest project I've done on the channel. Um, and one of the other items on my throne is actually an item of clothing that I was hoping to use as well for the purpose of doing the video. So this is in a little leather pouch. And in this leather pouch is the gift. That might have been loud, sorry. Those of you who might have worked out what it is that I'm going to be doing with this um, will be relieved that it's not quite as concerning as it may seem. And I said that I was going to do this with minimal editing, but actually it's proving a little difficult to open this without making a noise. Okay. Here we have it. So if you haven't worked it out, this is a rather fine razor blade. And this is going to be used for, as I say, um, an ASMR video. Look at that. Look at this. These are my friends. So I'm going to show you for now. Some of you might have worked out what it is I'm going to be doing. Uh, feel free to comment in the comments. What do you think I might be doing with this in an ASMR video? was a topic that uh, I was thinking of talking about, and that was my um, my childhood and when I was at school. Looking back through some of my videos, I noticed that I do a lot of thinking back. It's quite weird how I sort of think back to when I was whatever age I was. Um, it's just a thing I do naturally, and I think I do it just in real life situations as well, in that I will refer to memories and yeah, but I tend to do that a lot. And I think our childhood, it goes without saying, our childhood is one of the most important things in our lives because it kind of, it paves the way for our development and how we how we grow, how we build up our lives um, through those experiences that we get um, when we're when we're children. And I had I had a 
a sort of what I like to think as a slightly unusual childhood, but what is what is a normal childhood? What's a usual childhood? Um, I was a relatively happy child until uh, I hit school, and this isn't going to turn into a whole sort of depressing video about how I hated school, but I'll be honest with you, I, I really did like school for the first three years of secondary school. Uh, secondary school in the UK, so uh, between the ages of about 11 and 13, um, didn't have a great time, uh, and, but I will go into that at another point because it's not very relaxing. Um, but linked to that uh, were things I did to change my appearance, um, so I guess as a sort of weird segue, but moving back into what I was talking about, about childhood. Um, where I live, a lot of people that I was at school with stayed in the same town, in the same city, which is a pretty small city. Uh, it actually is technically a city because it's got a cathedral in it. Um, but as cities go, it's pretty small. Uh, I moved away from it when I was 18 um, and I did what is called a gap year in the UK. A gap year. A gap year. Uh, a lot of people do that uh, after school and before university or college. And so I did that when I was 18. But I moved to Gloucester. And Gloucester is not very far from my hometown, so I kind of I moved away from my family home, but not too far away. Then I went to university, uh, college, that was three years, then I went to work somewhere else, and then I came back And I came back to my hometown, which is where my my parents live. They still live here. And um, so that's that. What I'm trying to say is um, there are people that I was at school with that probably don't recognise me because I made a point of completely revamping my appearance when I was probably mm, the first big revamp was probably when I was about 19 or 18 years old so when I left home and um, a lot of people are really kind on my channel in the comments in that they, they say that they really like my hair um, but interestingly, my hair's gone through lots of strange phases, um, but I, I, I'm i proud to say I'm blessed with a lot of hair, uh, and it's really thick. Every time I get my hair cut, the hairdresser or the barber always says, wow, this is really thick, this is really, really thick, this hair is so thick, and there's always this sort of banter has to happen every time. It's like it's scripted, you know. I sort of go, huh, yeah, it's a pain. Um, because it's great to have such thick hair that, that you know, is big and exciting and luscious and all that. But actually, I've got what is called, um, I won't say what the term is called, but it's it's really, really straight. Uh, so it kind of, when it's cut to a certain length, and sometimes I've had it cut to like a number one, which is incredibly short on the back and sides, um, but longish on the top like that. When you grow the sides and back, back, the hair kind of grows like outwards like that. So 
so then it kind of goes like that and it looks awful awful and then I get my hair cut and this was years ago um, I had quite a regular barber who will not be watching this video I severely doubt that he'll be watching this video but he used to cut my hair kind of the way that his hair Absolutely, if I need, if I want to curl or wave my hair, I have to put in the efforts of doing stuff to it. Um, but anyway, it's um, it's it's so it's nice. It's a blessing to have the hair that I have. Um, so anyway, that is relevant because yeah. So then I I when I was at school, I didn't really care what I looked like. Um, I don't think I matured in that way till I was much older and then I completely changed everything when I was I'm um, doing it again when I was 16 and then um, around 17, 18 I kept my hair really long I grew it out because when I was at school you couldn't you couldn't have it um, it wasn't allowed to be touching your collar of your shirt um so I kind of rebelled against that when I left school and grew it long, which meant that I looked like some kind of... If you know um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, that film, uh, Danny Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, that hair, that's essentially what I looked like um, at the start, because you have to maintain it. Um, growing your hair long, you kind of there's a lot more maintenance than you would think because you actually need to keep going to get it cut which seems counterproductive but otherwise it just kind of it will just grow in really weird ways and then you'll get split ends and all that sort of thing so yeah anyway so I changed my appearance and I had it all cut off when I was like 18 I kind of stuck with the same sort of style. But, yeah. I don't know why I'm rambling about that. But no, yeah, lots of people are very kind. Um, and they're very complimentary. Um, and, yeah, it's a nice thing to have. Um, recently, I got married. And a lot of people were asking me this question sort of saying are you going to get your hair cut are you going to get your hair cut so yeah people were asking when I was going to get my hair cut and that can just be a simple question but it can also be are you going to get a haircut to look good for your wedding and I would sort of say well a variety of options um, number one I'd say that actually
next time. Stay safe and I will see you.